Hello folks, today's reading is going to be messages from heaven. It will be a pick a card reading and you can pick your card. I'm going to, this will be the card that you will choose. So let's see who's trying to come in. Not really, <laughs> they're so little. <laughs> hard to shuffle. So let's just see who's coming in for pile number one. Pile number two. And we'll choose pile number three. All right, so pile number three is pets. <laughs> so we're gonna do a pet message. Those of you who are missing a pet, um, they have a message for you. Pile number two is daughter. So this could be your daughter or someone that you considered like a daughter. Could have been a mother or father figure to this person. And we have brother. So you choose, even if these are not your person, um, uh, they could be coming in to, to give you a message, all right? So brother could be someone in spirit that you considered like a brother, a very good friend, um, like a daughter, um, and a pet. So let's see what their messages are for you. I'm going what to does moment. this brother, what would they like to say? Let's see what the messages are. If any of this resonates with you, please leave a comment down below, like the video, and um, subscribe to the channel if you'd ever like to come out. I, if you enjoy live tarot, um, I answer questions for free for subscribers a few times per week for one hour per live stream, sometimes two <laughs> hours. <laughs> All right, let's see. So this brother is saying our, con our connection transcends our earthly life. So no matter what, uh, they still remember everything. They are here. Um, nothing is going to stand in the way of your connection. It's the power of a nine, just letting me know that they um, have closed out this cycle and are beginning a new one. Beginning a new one, power of a 28, breaking down to a one. So it's letting me know that they are in the beginning um, of a new cycle in their realm and it says I send you songs with meaningful words so you you're riding down the road and they're connecting with you through lyrics through music maybe shared music um, that you once enjoyed together or you know just through the radio you know, or whatever music that you listen to, messages are coming through to you. And if you were questioning that, they're just here letting you know, like, yes, it's them. <laughs> they are sending you those messages. Look at the evening sky. You will find me as the brightest star. Power of an eight. So they are advancing on the other side as well um, as they have, you know, completed one cycle and entering a new one and they are advancing meaning their soul is advancing on the other side so let's just get into what their possible messages are for you um, that may apply to your life today or just something that could invoke a message for you so let's see i have some other cards here from departed loved ones for spe more specific, specified or specific message um, and messages of closure that I will share with you toward the end. 
but first up Okay, so are you entering a competition feeling plastic like a robot something along those lines this is a Barbie image <laughs> so your brother you may share something with them if you are a sister or a sibling that once played with Barbies or look like a Barbie uh, compared to maybe plastic um, fake phony people this could be letting you know that there are you know it's okay to loosen up and not just go about every day the everyday grind like a robot right um, where somebody is just winding you up and then your energy depletes with each click of the wheel um, we have the number six uh, meaning that there's balance we have the number 10 again a new beginning it could also mean that like um we have 16 so something could have come to a halt in a um like the finalization maybe where something was really quick and sudden i'm not sure if that's referring to their um passing or not I just see like he's smiling at you here and um, just like it like I'll be the judge right like I'll be the judge don't judge yourself I'll be the judge and looking at you like you are perfect just the way you are let's see what else is coming out from this brother Okay, we have a rebellious spirit here. Um, if you can see <laughs> in the background. So this could be speaking to them or you. I feel that they would like you to quit smoking. Uh, this brother could have been a smoker as well. Uh, a drinker, a partier, a rebellion. Maybe they had tattoos. And they didn't... It was like they rebelled against the world, right? Against societal rules. They could have been an artist or very artsy by nature, creative type. Punk rocker here, he has purple hair. <laughs> However, that resonates for you. Uh, let's see. Somebody loved combat boots. <laughs> All right, somebody loved to wear black um, footwear and I and the combat boots let's just see what else comes out let's just see any significant dates here let's just see from this brother in spirit you two may have went to amusement parks together um, you may have ridden like the ferris wheel or the skyline um there was an adventurous spirit here as far as it, things that you may have like shared experiences let's see they were really quick tempered like where they could just um you know they'd tell anyone off <laughs> just like f you Let's see. They could be the sign of Aquarius, or maybe that is your sign. It's just, you know, some form of confirmation that they are here. Could be something significant happened during that time period as far as like uh, during Aquarius season. She too has a tattoo. And the chalice. So what do we have? August. Maybe this could be your 
birthday month or celebration that occurs during August, something significant could have happened during August. This person may have passed in August and maybe the, between the 6th and the 10th. I have the 10 and the 6 and an 8 there. Let's see. What else do we have as far as their message? What is it that they want to specifically say to you? I'll use tarot first and then I'll get into the messages. Let's see. I think their message is, is letting you know that it's okay to stand out from the crowd, that you don't have to just do that repetitive thing. Maybe some of you are entrepreneurs or something where like you are not going to just do the routine thing, the nine to five, you know, you don't have to be like everyone else is the message that I, I feel that is a message. <laughs> at least one of the messages, right? Um, let's see. They may have been like sh a shooting star, like maybe they wanted to be a star um, at some point in their life. Like maybe they were, they were creatively like, driven. They could have been a musician and they may have really set their sights on that sign of Aquarius coming in strong with the star energy. And another message with that is just like, don't ever give up hope. Reach for the stars. Just do it. Go for it. Whatever that is for you. Um, Ace of Wands, there's the creativity. Uh, it's a fresh new start. Uh, they want you to focus on your drive and ambition and just go just do it it's like sometimes you just have to take that risk and give it your best shot just go for something divine feminine the empress energy um <laughs> what I say, I think that they um, connect with your mother, right? Uh, it's Taurus energy here, but I feel like they communicate with your mother as well. If your mother is on the other side with them, they are coming through and connecting and communicating with you as well. This is all about you really being inspired in a new direction and embracing it. Do what you love. Do what you love. There's some form of like really soulful communication. And if you want to be like a mother or maybe a stay at home mom, just, you know, make it your job, your career, if that is what what you what you desire for yourself we have um the en toxic energy here it's also a high energy as far as like just being bound to some old ways of thinking or being some unhealthy things that they would like to clear up for you the mother could have had like addictions as well that she passed down to the children um they could be really rooted in this. So um, they're acknowledging that addictions, um, rage, jealousy, uh, narcissism even was a, a part of the, their upbringing. And they were tied, you know, they were Six of Wands, they're moving on from that and they also encourage you to move on from any unhealthy toxic behaviors and peoples in your life. Take the trip, right? Like move forward, get beyond this because I feel like you're, you can rise high. If you are the musician in this reading, they too are connecting to you through your music. Maybe you wrote a song.
Look, Aquarius energy again. Um, the star. Reach for the stars. Just go for it. Don't lose hope. Remain optimistic. And the answer is yes to whatever the question is that you're asking about this particular read. Um, it seems like the, the toxic behavior is rooted in family. And they're just letting you know it's okay to break free from that and move forward in your life. Like you can, you can still go places. Don't let it hold you back. We have the father figure here, the emperor. If both of your parents are in spirit, um, they are together. They could have had an unhealthy marriage or relationship but not anymore they found freedom from from this again look to the stars it is an important message here because we have two cards that are indicating like i'm the brightest star um, i think they are a shining star they may have reached for the stars as well while they were here um, they're letting you know that you are extremely powerful in control of your own destiny. I don't see like physical um, uh, abuse. I see it was more... Um, like volatile environment. Too many cards. All right. So they were pretty much guarded and isolated and defensive in their ways. The father figure here could have been, um, there could have been like a lot of finger pointing that they're acknowledging from others uh, that you've had to experience or that they experienced um, while they were here. The uh, father figure or pa parents may have done this in an unhealthy way where they, you know, a lot of blame, a lot of blame. Let me just... I'll pull one from here and one from the other deck. Let's just see any more of a message here from this brother. Anything else to say to your loved ones? They also defend their 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 relationship, right? Their their even though it was unhealthy, they are. Um, they they are defending it well, you have forgiveness so forgiveness is key um they would like your forgiveness whether it's forgiving them for leaving too soon or for uh you know i if you're a sibling of this person i would say that they want you to forgive the family atmosphere in which you grew up Forgive, forgive the mistakes that were made. Don't let it stop you from your destiny. Don't let it stand in your way. It's almost like it's time for you to receive. And I'll pull one more from here and get into the other deck. There was like somebody was very much out of control. Expect the unexpected. They're sending you something um, or encouraging this to for you to receive. I, so when you least expect it, something's going to happen for you. Um, let's just see. Pull one from here. And then I'll get into the other cards, the um, messages of closure and messages from your departed loved ones.
defenseless power of a nine. Again, just reaffirming that they have closed out this cycle. Before your guides can step in, you must first help yourself. Never underestimate your strength. Work on building a shield and armor to avoid finding yourself defenseless. And that shows up here. Oh, come on now. That shows up here with um, the Seven of Wands energy. Uh, protect yourself, right? Don't take, don't take abuse from anyone, even if you had to endure it throughout your life. Um, you're not defenseless. Protect yourself. Okay, let me get into the other cards because this is getting lengthy. Uh, let's see. What is this? your message to your loved ones? Um, 918 may be significant to some of you. I don't know if maybe someone was born on um, 918. But it could mean something to you. I am no longer suffering. I am sending you so much love. And they do come in, in um, the form of bird energy. You may see a blue bird or any kind of bird, you know, it, it, repetition. Um, you may smell them through floral scents. And I will pull one from the message of closure. So pay attention um, to the stars for one, uh, but pay attention to the sound of music. The, the sound of music, you know, and what resonates as far as the lyric. Is there a lyric that stands out to you? Um, feel free to share it in the comments below. I'd love to hear that. Let's see. So it seems that they were overburdened, like I said, with some kind of toxic behavior, you know, something. And it's okay. They're, they're okay now, and that's all they want. They, they want, and they, they're asking for your forgiveness to please forgive them. For being so rebellious by nature right and probably for their passing it feels sort of like somebody like um, passed away a little bit too soon in a in a very unexpected way right I'm sorry I didn't believe you okay so they're asking for forgiveness and one more. Well, there you go. You can break generational patterns and that's what I'm saying here okay so if this resonates with you please let me know in the comments below um, consider to like comment share and subscribe to the channel okay pile number two this is for the daughter so you may be the daughter or this is a message from your daughter okay so let's see. Hmm. It's a spiritual connection here. Um, some of you connect th through lavender, whether it's the color or the herb. Let's see. You have angelic energy surrounding you. <laughs> All right, 
pile number two. Apparently I shut you off, but this is for the daughter and we have I visit at night and like to play with the lights. Even though my life was cut short, I lived on my terms and I am happy and free now. So whatever they struggled with um, here on earth, they have found their freedom. We have the sign of Capricorn and the month of February for significant dates and times of year. I have September 7th and September 1st as well as July 1st or July 9th. Okay. Let's see. What's the other message from this daughter? Well, I have two. Okay, so his daughter may have been very ill toward the end and not feeling well. There could have been um, depression and loneliness, just kind of not, there, there was an illness. So this person passed from probably a long, battle with something right some some form of illness i don't like to get into what the illnesses may be but there's a, also seeing that um there's a message here to take care of yourself and not be over burdened or so encompassed and consumed by depression and darkness and um loneliness because that too could make you feel unwell. It could provoke um, dis-ease within you and an uncomfortability or an actual physical illness. Let's see. What is the message from this daughter? What are the messages from this daughter? And like she says, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm free, I'm not stuck in a disability or a wheelchair or a hospital. You know, I'm not being poked and prodded anymore. And I, I am free. And even though my life was cut short, I lived on my terms. So she went when she wanted to, when she was ready. Um, no illness or anything else could take her, take her right like um, she went when she was ready and now like if she suffered from a long battle with depression if depression or just a long battle with illness she's she's free from both of them and she <laughs> I feel like she likes to play, like she's playful, right? Um, she doesn't want you to be doom and gloom. Like I feel like the flickering of the lights or electronics even are like um, her way of not only getting your attention, but kind of like being a playful little spirit. And not that she's little or anything or was young, but because I don't know I'm just saying it, it's her way of being um, spunky like this is a spunky spirit and there's been so much sadness and darkness in her physical life like she just wants you to know that she has found her freedom and her light all right what is her message to you the wise one this is about commitment and tradition and a higher state of learning just recognizing that what is is she saying that you need to commit to something um, possibly to an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius energy it's time to start um, having conversations I don't know if you're married but it's time to talk things through and Think about, think about something. Six of Wands, getting some attention, right? So she's acknowledging that you, 
you receive attention and accolades and it's your time to shine so um, commit to your craft winner winner chicken dinner here let's see there also may have been a time like um, was she a ballerina a ballerina or um, aspiring in the form of dance you may have sat around campfires with this person and um, just acknowledging that so, some of you don't lose your faith and make sure that you are speaking your faith out loud you will be acknowledged and commended for it If you are a person who dance, just know that they're with you when you're on stage. And on birthdays. It's also letting me know that they would like you to get into a relationship as we have the, the commitment of the wise one with the four of wands, uh, a relationship. And she appreciated, if, if your daughter got married, they, she's just acknowledging that um, she loves that you were there at her wedding. And if, if not, just know that she is celebrating at all of these special events in life with you. Um, if, it's like recognizing a marriage here. I hear someone like I danced at your at your on your wedding day or I you know dancing on a wedding day let's see things are about to change for the better you have a father in spirit if her father is in spirit just know that she's just letting you know that she spends time with her father on the other side whether he's living or, or not she's letting you know that you have the the power there's a lot of power in your voice. Um, there's a lot of stress and sleepless nights. And that is about to change. Like the anxiety is going to lift. There's something like nightmares, bad dreams you may be waking up to. It's time to to relieve the anxiety. And here we go with the moon face. So there's something definitely happening at night, not only the flickering of those lights, but um, it's time to relieve the stress so that you can get some rest at night. More is going to be revealed to you. You're just, you're going through um, a phase in life Let's see. And good things are about to come. There could be uh, a conversation. They are communicating with you. Not sure if you're hearing them. Uh, it's time to relieve the stress concerning like um, achievements. Like there's anxiety surrounding achievements that you like to keep hidden and it's okay to achieve in this world like be proud of yourself go for it and um build your foundation you've done the work right it's like you've you're you're putting in all this time and effort and you will be rewarded for it for the work that you do um 
I feel like there's been small achievements in your life, like, you know, where, but you haven't come full circle yet, and it's letting me know that you are coming full circle. Not only are these people in a circle, but the wheel is a circle, and the, so is the moon, and so is that ball. So, the stones in the campfire. So, um, things are going to start turning um, for you it, it because because you've done the work like th you've had acknowledgments throughout your life about the work that you've done um, the, you, these smaller achievements and successes in life the big path is coming but um, you it makes you nervous it also could be that um, it's anxiety with the nine of swords but it's about to end we have ten swords combined there so there what I'm seeing here is that she this person in spirit has been relieved of their pain um, the stress the anxiety but it's time for you to um, lessen that like not be so afraid Right? There's fear with the moon. There's uncertainty. You you don't have enough faith in yourself and they just want to encourage you to have faith in yourself um, and acknowledging like, well done. You know, like, well done. Kudos to you. You're doing great. Don't lose faith. Don't lose faith. It's okay to be nervous, you know. If some of you go on stage, you're nervous before a performance. Um, some of you may be public speakers or have to speak in, maybe it's not public speaking, but where you have to speak. And, and it, it just makes you nervous, whether it's speaking to one person or a thousand <laughs> at a time. And it's, they're just saying it's okay, like we're going to help you to lessen this fear. It's important to address the fear to relieve the anxiety you need to address the fear and not doubt yourself so much not be so um uncertain about your footing or your placement here on earth all right let's get into your messages what is this daughter's message to you Some of you, the the message is like it's time to uh, to get into a relationship. They may be helping you to get into a relationship. If, if some of you go to a faith based foundation such as church, temple, um, kingdom, whatever it may be, they're they're with you and just acknowledging that they want you to carry on the traditions that that you've always that you've always done because they're there whatever the tradition may be um, like with all of the celebrations the birthdays the parties the anniversaries um, they want you to continue to do that I know you loved me I loved you the same And one more, it says, I miss you, miracle, rainbow, love, grateful, and be kind. Right, I have two more. Don't suppress your dreams. And here we are having nightmares and um, the moon, right? Maybe you are suppressing some dreams. You you have all of the information you need. Um, you hold the key to your destiny. Don't think about the end. Think about our good times together. So that's what your daughter would like to say, what this daughter would like to say <laughs> to someone. Uh, and now let's just pull, oh, come on screen. I don't want to turn it off again. 
All right, we'll pull a couple of messages of closure. Let's see from this daughter. She, this, this girl watches you, <laughs> you know, as you reminisce and, it, you know, just acknowledging that you take the time to look at, look at the pictures of the past. Um, there may be a skeleton key, uh, like maybe it's a remembrance of, but she loves the things that you do and just saying that she misses you too. I didn't know how to comfort you. Of course not. Nobody knows how to comfort someone when, you know, impending death, right? They're just acknowledging that and they're sorry that they couldn't comfort you. They just want you to stay focused on the good things, the good times, the good memories, and not not be consumed with their their passing. It's time for you to come out of the, the darkness. I am so proud of you. I think I feel like she's um, proud of you for, because there's something here that some achievement that you had, but just for being there for them as well and for still being here. And even though it's been difficult Okay, and that is the, th those are the messages from this daughter in spirit. Okay, thank you so much for listening. Um, if any of this resonates, let me know in the comments below. And consider to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Bye. All right, pile number three. You had pets. So try to make this short and sweet and let's see what your pet would like to say to you. What is the message from your pet? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this message, but let's just see what this deck can offer for your pet's message to you. I'm so sorry that you lost your fur babies because oh my goodness devastating look sending congratulations from above so they are acknowledging your good times and things that you're celebrating know that they're there with you and th they're happy for you they're happy that you're having fun it's power of five so you, maybe there's been a significant change in your life and they are just sending you congratulations maybe you got married maybe you graduated um maybe it's just you got a promotion, maybe, you know, whatever, whatever the celebration may be, they are very, very happy for you. Maybe you got into a relationship, right? They're happy for you. So let's see. Um, my life here has no stress. So they're at peace. They're just letting you know they are at peace. Um, you may recognize them or maybe peace signs or balloons are something that you that reminds you of them or like maybe every time you see one then your thoughts naturally go with to toward your pet something like that um, another five so five five just letting you know that um, they're acknowledging the changes in your life and congratulating you for them. So they, they see all of the good things that are happening in your life. Uh, like I said, I'm going to make this kind of short because I'm not so sure of the, the decks to use for this besides tarot. So let's just see if we can get months, dates, times, anything that your pet would like to say to you. Anything. 
So if they were ill or old or maybe they had arthritis or something really bad, um, any kind of debilitation here on earth, they're just letting you know like they, they no longer have that. They have freedom and they're still with you. They still check in. They peep your energy and they're happy. Time of love. This is letting me know that they some of you got into a relationship and maybe it was a relationship maybe you brought another pet into your life and they are so okay with you loving another whether it's another human or another animal they're not jealous let's see from your pet I think it's they are acknowledging the love that you all shared as well they were loved here and they still feel the love beyond I don't know waning moon so I don't know how you can put that but she has a pet in her hand I, is that a puppy I don't know but she's she has an animal in her hands so I'm gonna say that instead of like waning moon I'm going to say that this has something to do, possibly they come to you in your dreams, but they're acknowledging the way that you would hold them, okay? The, the way, the comfort and care that you gave to them. And possibly the dream, the dream state as well, that, that, you know, they bring you peace and love through the dream state. All right, so let's see what else do we have from your pet, from your departed pet. Let's see, what is the message that your pet has for you? called like Cosmo or some cosmic type of name I, I just Cosmo is what came to me but well they're happy <laughs> it's funny how a pet comes out it will not a pet but a panda an animal spirit comes so, you know, like pandas, they, they sit around all day, they're comfortable, they eat their bamboo, they're filled up. And that's what your pet wants you to know, like they're, they're happy, like the happy panda. They're happy, uh, they're joyous, they have abundance, okay? And I think they were very comfortable and full here on Earth. They could be acknowledging that they love to eat. <laughs> like, you know, maybe you have bamboo in your backyard. Maybe they used to get in it, play in it, eat it, whatever. Let's see. For others of you, you know, maybe you took care of pandas at the, at the zoo. Um, you know, I don't know your life or what part of the where you are from maybe pandas were a significant part of your life and you considered one of the pandas that you cared for a uh, part of your family that would just be your panda showing up saying hey i'm here i acknowledge you and congratulations job well done you know all of the messages still apply it would just let me know that they're coming through for you all right, you could have had a black and white animal, like a, you know, maybe your cat was black and white, maybe tuxedo cat. Um, your dog could have been like Dalmatian or a black and white, whatever. Uh, it, bird, I, I don't know um, your pet, what kind of pet you had. Maybe it was a reptile, but this all these have fur, so I'm going to go with a fur baby here. Let's see. What is their message to you? Let's 
it's time to begin time to start something right something a creative project and start something new just take the risk that's what they're saying go for it take the risk because you have the page of wands and the fool's energy it's time for you to take a risk and jump all into something you have a clean slate here so just go for it have the adventure do something it's time to start two cards of new beginnings it's also like the page and the zero they've come full circle they they've had their initiation and they're on to phase two they also come to you in spirit and communicate with you they may be sending you telepathic messages let's see something about somebody's feet but i whatever queen of swords they just understand that you have been studying something and um, really highly focused on something that you're really intelligent and it's time for you to just go for it like um, you're a truth teller as well so you could say that you're being a little bit cold and standoffish toward others and it you know it's because you're in your head about something that you maybe you think too much or overthink but again it's time to get started doing something and seven of swords and other swords energy very mental um they they're just here saying that they didn't mean to betray you like they cut and run too like uh fast and it, just acknowledging that you may overthink um, eight swords combined about things in life, about this new start. It's time to just go for it, right? You're not betraying anyone. You're not doing anything. Um, there's also a, another message that they would like you to quit smoking. That came through in the other one too. But it's time, it's time to quit smoking. You can do this. Don't overthink it. Just do it. Jump all in. Give it a go. Um, Nine of Pentacles. Abundance is on their way. And um, it's time for you to receive the abundance in your life. They also see that you're very independent and secure. Um, very confident. But they may come to you in the form of a bird. Right, and communicate with you that way. I have two birds up here. I have another one in her hands. It's time for you to receive, though. Um, it, something very good. They see that you are very independent, and so they're acknowledging that somebody may have lied, cheated, scammed, or schemed you in some kind of way, and a financial way. And they're just saying, don't worry about it. Don't overthink it. You don't have to overprocess anything. Just move on from it. Um, start fresh and new. Uh, your finances will be fine. All right. This is weird from the pet. But I'm going to give you a message from this deck as well. Let's see. What do your pet? What does your pet want to acknowledge? What does your pet? What is the message from your departed pet? What is the message from your departed pet? Besides that, you think too much. <laughs> you overthink things. Just be honest. That's all. Just be honest and speak your truth. They are protecting you. You are highly protected. Again, it's a dream catcher. So I think that they do come to you in, in their dreams. Oh, and look, I felt loved, protected, and safe, and it is a kitty. Aww. Again, with the feathers, you know, furry, furry, furry creature here. I'll pull one more message of, of departure. What is a message of closure, I should say, from the pet. What is the message from your pet?
they felt protected and safe. Protected and safe. May 5th may ring a bell for some of you. Do you feel my touch? So they they do um, what they do here, however they were on earth, you know, however they were, they're still, if they were a kitty, they're still rubbing up against your ankles. You may hear them purr. Um, if they're a dog, you may hear them walking, the, you know, click clacking around, uh, no matter what it was. What, what kind of pet maybe you hear if you had a birdie maybe maybe it, you hear it the chirp even though you know there is none um, they're just they're just letting you know that they really appreciated the time they had with you here on earth okay um, many blessings to all of you please consider to like comment share and subscribe to the channel bye